Hey friends, thanks for joining us for Kid Point Online. This month we are talking about hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Today is Easter Sunday. We are going to celebrate the true reason we celebrate Easter and discover that Jesus is Lord and He is alive. Before we jump into our story, it's time to worship. So everyone jump up on your feet and let's get ready to celebrate Jesus. Surrounded, sur around it. Your love is everywhere and I'm surrounded. It's got me singing, it's got me shouting. And now I want to tell the world about it. Cause now I am alive, yeah, you opened up my eyes. Everywhere I look, I see.
What's up, everybody? I'm Shiloh. And I'm Lucy. And every day is a reason to celebrate. And today is Easter. Easter! Today is a very special day. It's filled with chocolate. Bunnies. Chocolate bunnies? Eggs. Jesus. Easter egg hunts. One time my little brother karate chopped me for the very last egg. I fell on the grass and got grass stains all over my new Easter dress and all my candy spilled out and a squirrel came and stole all of it. All of it. Okay, well what about peeps? At my house, we have a ton of Easter traditions like reading a Peter Rabbit book. In my house, we play chubby bunny with Peeps. Well, we thought it would be fun to start our own Easter tradition here in Kid Point. That's right. We decided we're going to decorate Easter eggs. That's right. Um, Shiloh, where are all the supplies? Supplies? I thought you were getting all the supplies. No, no, no. You were supposed to get the supplies. It's fine. I'll run to Walmart real quick. Oh, she literally meant run. <laughs> I got uh, supplies. Whoa! What is all of this? Chocolate syrup, teriyaki sauce, and ranch? What the is this? The supplies? <sighs> the supplies? You're just supposed to get some eggs and some dye. That's it. <gasps> Not dye, dye. Like, dye. Food coloring dye. Oh, well, they didn't have any of that stuff, so I got this stuff instead, and I figured we could make anything work. But what are we going to decorate? I have a solution. I found these two guys at Walmart. <laughs> two of our awesome small group leaders. Okay, that's good. But what do they have to do with decorating Easter eggs? We are going to play a game. All right, here's how the game works. We'll be decorating two eggheads, I mean, small group leaders, to look as much like an Easter egg as possible using these supplies. When we're finished decorating, Diana will decide who has the best egg. Coming in at 5'9", in a full head of no hair, it's Mr. Athir. And coming in at six foot with the fullest beard in Kid Point, it's Mr. Blake! It's Mr. Blake! Hey guys, thanks so much for being our human Easter eggs. What? what? Yeah, I kind of left that part out. Let's get going. Okay, ready? On your mark, get set. <laughs> Jayana, who's the best Easter egg? Easter eggs? All I see is a Thier and Blake covered in goo. Uh, well, somebody didn't get any <laughs> eggs, and she found a Thier and Blake at Walmart, so this is just our way of celebrating. Yeah. So, who looks the best? Well, the glitter in Blake's beard is astounding. 
but a fear makes a great blank canvas. A fear in Shiloh, I declare you two the winners. Woo! Awesome. Oh, don't worry guys. I have something to share that will still give you a reason to celebrate. You've been making some big messes today. Now we're going to make one last mess as we talk about the Easter story and discover that Jesus is Lord and he's alive. Let me introduce you to our final mess. They go by Orangelo and Lamangelo. Jayana. I'm Lamangelo. And I'm Orangelo. We're, We're brothers. brothers. Twins, actually. We love to eat jello. We like playing the harmonica. And we are always up for a friendly competition of any kind. We go everywhere together and we never, ever leave the house without our backpack. Yeah, we've, we've heard that before. Welcome back. Do you two happen to have any ice cream toppings in that backpack of yours? <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course, of course we, we do. do. Okay, great. Let me see what I can find. All right. Oh, yes, this is Perfect chocolate sauce. Today, it's going to represent sin, though. Sin? Yes, sin. Sin is doing anything that goes against God's plan for his world and your life. Lying, cheating, losing your temper, punching your sister, kicking your dog, you get it. Today, we're going to use our willing volunteers and these white t-shirts to represent our life. Ever since the very first two people on earth disobeyed God, sin has been a part of this world. So when we're born, we're already born into a sin-stained world. Sometimes we think about those first two people, Adam and Eve, and we say to ourselves, I could have done better. I wouldn't have eaten from that tree. But then we eat that cookie we weren't supposed to eat, hide that thing we weren't supposed to do from our mom, or we totally lose our cool and scream at our sister. In the Bible, Romans 3.23 says that everyone has sinned and no one can live up to God's standard. Sin is whenever we let something else other than God be in control and be the Lord. The word Lord means boss, master, ruler, and center of our life. We all struggle with sin and keeping God at the center of our life. I bet I can find a few items in your backpack that represent things that we might be tempted to let rule us. Dance, karate, golf, basketball, it can easily become the center of your entire life. Sometimes we get too focused on our stuff. We let our desire to earn more, buy more, and have more become our priority and focus. I don't know about you, but I depend on this thing. But instead, I should be depending on Jesus. If we're honest, when we look at ourselves, what we see is the boss we love most. We don't want anyone else telling us what to do. Mm, yeah. Letting anything else be the Lord of our life is just us trying to forget about this mess. It's us trying to ignore it or trying to wipe it away on our own. But nothing we can do on our own could take away or clean up the sin in our life. The problem is the mess of sin separates us from God and it keeps us from having peace with him. To get all of the sin wiped off requires a payment, a sacrifice to make things right. But it's a price that none of us can pay. It's a mess that we can't wipe away on our own. But God loves us so much that he didn't want us to stay separated from him. So God sent his son, Jesus. Jesus lived a perfect life without a stain or blemish and never once sinned, just like this clean shirt. Jesus came to this world and taught people about the kingdom of God. He performed miracles, he healed the sick, fed huge crowds of people, and he even raised the dead back to life. But Jesus came to do even more than that. Jesus never sinned. His life was clean, just like this other shirt. And since he's God, he could give his perfect life as a payment for an infinite amount of sins. The cost of sin is death. And the ultimate reason that Jesus came to this world was to pay the price of our sins. Romans 3.25 says, God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for sin. Jesus paid the price that we couldn't pay. Jesus loves us so much that he paid our price and became sin in our place. 
He took the punishment for all of our sins on the cross for you and for me. Every sin was poured out on him. And the price was paid. Jesus died in our place, and he was buried in a tomb that was sealed with a large stone. But that brings us to the gospel. Gospel means good news. The good news that Jesus is Lord and he's alive. He is alive. Jesus' death on the cross isn't the end of the story. Jesus rose from the dead. He defeated death. Our hope, our joy, our confidence is built upon this truth, that Jesus lives. He came out clean, just like this new shirt. And he wants to be Lord, boss, master, center of your life. He made a way for us to have new life and promises us the hope that he will be with us forever. He wants us to take everything that we've made boss and give it to him. None of these things are bad. They're only bad when they're the center of your life. Jesus wants us to go all in with him. He wants us to use everything we do, everything we have, and who we are for his purpose instead of letting those things control our lives. When we go all in with Jesus and believe that he is Lord and that he is alive, sin no longer can make a mess of our life. Just like this. Jesus wants to transform your life and set you free from the stain of all sin, past, present, and future. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. Now, now that's, that's something, something to celebrate. celebrate. Thanks, Jayana. Thanks, Arangela and Lamangelo. Sometimes life can get pretty tough, and we may have to face some difficult things. And in those times, we need to remember the real reason for our hope. Yeah. We can have hope because Jesus is alive, and he's always with us. Yeah, and through Jesus, we have a way to have a relationship with God that will last forever. Mm -hmm. And we can celebrate today because Jesus was and still is alive. If you've never made the decision to follow Jesus and you want to accept this amazing gift of salvation that only He can offer, talk to a small group leader, a parent, a leader, and maybe a family member. Yeah, and whatever happens, no matter what kind of mess you've made, remember that Jesus is alive. And speaking of messes, we should probably go clean up ours. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. All right, well, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye! Bye.